Hello everyone, we have question number 3. ABC is an isosceles triangle in which altitudes BE and CF are drawn to equal sides AC and AB respectively. Figure 7.32. Here we have the figure 7.32. This is the figure. Okay, so in this figure what happened? ABC is an isosceles triangle. Here again what happened? Equal sides AC and CB. Here AC and AB are equal in length. And what happened again? BE is perpendicular to AC and CF is perpendicular to EB. That means they are the altitudes. Now we have to prove that these altitudes are equal. First let me write given. We'll write here ABC is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle in which altitudes BE and CF are drawn to equal sides AC and AB respectively. Here what happened, you have to make this figure as a part of your answer. So, I have just made here another diagram, another figure. So, to prove. We have to prove that the altitudes are equal. Here the altitudes are BE and CF. Here I'll write BE equal to what? CF. This is BE. Okay, next, proof. Okay, let's see. In triangles, in triangles, A, B, E. I'll write here, A, B, E. And what is the next? I'll write, A, C, F. Let's compare these two triangles. Let us prove that these two triangles are congruent. First, I'll write angle A, E, B. Where is A, E, B? This is what? A, E, B. And angle A, F, C. These two angles will be equal because they are 90 degree each. Because BE is altitude. That means BE perpendicular to AC. At the same time, CF perpendicular to AB. So we'll write here 90 degree each. 90 degree each. Next, I can write angle A equal to angle this is a common angle, common angle. Next, what happened? I can write here AB equal to AC. This is given by the question. The question gives you that AB and AC are equal, equal sides. That means AC and AB are equal. Therefore, what happened? Triangle ABE will be congruent to triangle ACF. What is the congruency rule? The congruency rule is by angle angle side. Congruency rule. Okay. So as these two triangles are congruent, their corresponding sides will be equal. Here BE will be equal to what? CF. So you can write here CP C T. So hence proof. I will write here hence proof. We have question number four. ABC is a triangle in which altitudes B E and C F to sides A C and A B are equal. Okay, let's understand the question clearly. Here ABC is a triangle, fine. And here B E and C F are the altitudes to the sides A C and A B respectively. But here they are saying something R equal. Here R equal means this B E and C F are equal. So that triangle A B E is congruent to triangle A C F. And next we have to prove that A B equal to A C. That is A B C is an isosceles triangle definitely. Because in a triangle if two sides are equal then 
the triangle becomes isosceles. First we need to write given. Don't forget, we need to make the figure as a part of the answer. So I have just made the figure here. Okay. In triangle ABC, what happened? I can write BE and CF are altitudes. You can say are altitudes to the sides. What are the sides? AC and AB respectively. And what happened? Again, these two altitudes are equal in length. That means BE equal to what? C F. Now that is a given. Next we need to write two proof. Now let's see what we have to write in the two proof. Two proof. First triangle A B E is congruent to triangle A C F. Second we have A B equal to A C. That is ABC is an isosceles triangle. Next, we'll start the proof. Well, you can write here procedure. Let me start the first one first. In triangles A, B, E, and A, C, F. First, I'll write angle A equal to angle A because this is a common angle. We'll write here common angle. Next, we'll write angle AEB. Angle AEB equal to what? Angle AFC. AFC. Why? Because they are 90 degree it's next I can write BE equal to what C F and here we have to write just given it's given that these two sides BE sorry these two altitudes BE and CF are equal okay therefore triangle A B E is congruent to triangle A C F so what is the rule here? The congruency rule is side angle, sorry, angle, angle, side. So I need to write here by angle, angle, side congruency rule. Okay, let me write here capital letter. Okay. Okay, now let's move to the second one. We know that triangle A, B, E is congruent to triangle a c f okay so what happened what do you have to write here you have to write you can say proof above so what happened now i can tell that here a b will be equal to what a c why because they are corresponding sides as the triangles are congruent their corresponding sides are equal so we need to write here just C P C T that is triangle A B C is isosceles. Hence proof. Next we have question number five. A B C and D B C are two isosceles triangles on the same base B C. From here what we know is triangle A B C and triangle dbc these are two isosceles triangles here even it's on in the figure here what happened in this triangle abc they have just marked here one here one it means that ab and ac are equal like that in case of triangle dbc they have marked here how many how many times two times here two times so it means that these are what again equal so both the triangles are I show these triangles and they have given one very important point triangles on the same base BC 
here what happened on this bc we have formed a triangle like this and again on this bc we have formed another triangle so this bc is what we call common base and we have to show that angle abd is equal to what angle a c d a b d is equal to what angle a c d okay so first we'll write given i'll write here so in given what happened what we'll write a b c and d b c i'll write again here d b c d b c r two isosceles triangles on the same base on the same base bc now we have written the given next is two proof two proof what do we have to prove we have to prove that angle a b d equal to what angle a c d where is a b d this angle is what a b d and what is a c d this angle is what a c d okay so now we need some construction okay don't forget make sure the figure is a part of your answer so i have just met here one figure now okay fine we need construction what do we need to construct so let me write here construction in construction what we are going to do we are going to join these a and d so let me join in the in this figure i have one more i have made one more figure now let me join this a d okay let's see now okay now i have joined it so we need to write on the construction so let's see how is it we need to write here join a d that's all next we'll start proof okay so let's compare these two triangles triangle abd and acd now let me start the procedure in triangles a b d and acd a c d let's write one by one first i'll write a b equal to a c this is given by the question given i have told you before they have just level one one time next i can write b d equal to here you can say c d this is also again given by the question next i can write here a d equal to what a d this is nothing but the common side that is all because of what construction so you can just see here common side therefore what happened triangle a b d is congruent to triangle a c d what is the congruency rule here this is side 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 so you'll write here by no space so i'll write here by s s s congruency rule so below this we'll write therefore angle a b d and angle a c d these two angles will be equal because they are corresponding angles so beside we need to write c p c d so hence proof or you can say hence shown it's fine we have question number six triangle abc is an isosceles triangle in which ab equal to ac here we have seen a triangle a b c i'll show you now a b c this triangle is an isosceles triangle here what happened ab equal to ac ab and ac are equal in length okay next what happened side ba this is side ba this is produced to d now we have extended where to d such that ad and ab are equal so ad and ab are equal that means this part and this part are equal in length 
and then what happened so that triangle bcd is a right angle we have to prove that this triangle sorry this angle b c d we have to prove that this angle is 90 degree this is 90 degree that is what we have to prove let's get started so given we can write triangle abc is an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle where a b equal to a c next what happened side b a side b a is produced produced to d such that such that a d equal to what a b now we have to prove to Proof. What do you have to prove? Angle B C D is a right angle. That means this is 90 degree. Next, I'll write proof. I'll write here A B equal to A C. This is given by the question, so you can just write here. Given. Next, I can write A B equal to what? A D. This is also again given by the question so you can just write here given now what do you find here we find that a b equal to a c and a b equal again a d that means a c and a d will be equal so let me write here therefore a c equal to what a d so i'll just give you equation number one here i'll give angle one here angle two here angle 3 then here angle 4 angle 1 means angle B angle 2 means angle A C B let me show you now A C B A C B this is what angle 2 and then next what about angle 3 angle 3 means angle A C D A C D this angle is what angle 3 what about angle 4 angle 4 means angle D fine let me start let me continue here in triangle a b c what happened a b equal to a c this is given by the question so what happened the angles opposite to the equal sides are equal therefore for the side a b the opposite angle is angle 2 so you can write here angle 2 what about a c you can write here angle 1 so you will give the reason here angles opposite to equal sides are equal in a triangle okay. here i'll give equation number two next in triangle let me see a c d a c d what we can write we can write here a c equal to a d you will write here a c equal to a d this is from equation number one from one in one we have got here a c equal to a d so below this what i can write i can write here implies so what is the side opposite to the angle a c that is angle four so i'll write here angle four and what about a d for the a d that's angle three so in the next step what i want to write I want to write here just angle 3 equal to angle 4 and here we'll give the reason angles opposite to equal sides in a triangle or you can say of a triangle are equal same like before only and here I'll give question number 3 here I'll continue I can write here angle D plus angle B plus angle C angle C means angle B C D equal to what 180 degree why because the sum of the three angles of the triangle is 180 degree and here you have to say 
एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ट्राइंगल एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ट्राइंगल ओके बिलो दिस आल राइट हियर एंगल डी मीन्स वी हैव गिवन हियर एंगल वन प्लस वट अबाउट एंगल बी आई हैव गिवन हियर एंगल फोर एंगल बी सी डी ट्वेल्व टू वाट वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री ओके प्लीज हैव ए लुक इन प्लेस ऑफ एंगल वन यू कैन राइट एंगल टू बिकॉज एंगल वन एंड एंगल टू आर इक्वल एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ एंगल फोर यू कैन राइट एंगल थ्री बिकॉज एंगल फोर एंड एंगल वन आर सॉरी एंगल फोर एंड एंगल थ्री आर इक्वल सो इन प्लेस ऑफ एंगल वन लेट मी राइट नाउ एंगल टू प्लस इन प्लेस ऑफ एंगल फोर लेट मी राइट एंगल थ्री प्लस एंगल बी सी डी ट्वेल्व टू वाट वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री ओके बिलो दिस आई कैन राइट लाइक दिस इम्प्लाइज हियर एंगल टू प्लस एंगल थ्री वट हैपन आल जस्ट मेक द ब्रेकेट एंड इन साइड एंगल टू प्लस एंगल थ्री एंगल टू प्लस एंगल थ्री we get here angle b c d plus angle b c d equal to what 180 degree here angle b c d is how many times two times so we can write here twice angle b c d equal to what 180 degree so angle b c d is how much 180 degree divided by 2 so we have here 90 degree now we have done the proof you please write below that hands proof but here particularly in this step what we're going to write let me write here here in place of angle 1 i have written here angle 2 in place of angle 4 i have written here angle 3 so you have to mention here from what were equation we'll see now equation number 2 and 3 so from 2 and 3 this is what you have to write and here just write hence proof